Hey everyone, it's Phil from Red Barn Honeybees, and today we are at one of our new yards that we're starting this year where we are setting out our nooks that we just got this weekend. We're going to be transferring them to their permanent hives. Um, we're going to see how these ones do. They're uh, overwintered and completely bred here in Minnesota. They come from Bolton's Bees out of northern Minnesota, um, just north of the Twin Cities, and they're way up north by Duluth. Um, we're really excited to see how these genetics do down here in, in, in southern Minnesota. Uh, we want to see if they overwinter better. Um, they're bred for their gentleness, so we're really excited to see how these bees are. Um, the process that we're going to be doing is that we're going to be adding their four frames of, uh, that come in the nucleus box. That should be about two to three frames of brood and then a couple frames of resources. Uh, we'll be putting in some drawn comb that we have from some of our other hives to kind of help give them a boost And then we'll be giving them some uh, Frames that they can start drying out on their own as long as a frame feeder. It's been very dry here in Minnesota um, The bloom has kind of died out and uh, on our other hives We're not even seeing very much nectar being put into the soup or nectar being put into the supers right now So uh, we're going to make sure that we're giving them all the resources that they need to succeed uh, We're not going to worry about getting honey from these hives this year. We're just going to work on managing their mites making sure they're strong enough going into winter and putting them in the best possible uh, best position possible to, to survive this winter so let's get in here and take a look and see what we can find i am doing this before work uh here real quick so i'm going to use some smoke on these girls uh but i'm looking forward to try to see what the queens look like here making sure everything looks nice in these uh these new nooks so um, basically when you're transferring a nook all you want to do is you just want to set the the nook to the side of where um, where you had it sitting and then you put the the hive in place that you're you're planning on putting them in and you just transfer those frames into the middle of the into the box you want to make sure that you're centering that brood nest that they expand outwards um, and that and that's pretty much it it's a pretty straightforward process you just want to make sure you go nice and slow so that you aren't rolling any bees in between the frames as you're pulling them out or squishing any bees um, just be careful and, and enjoy what you find this is be the first time I'll have worked with these these are one piece plastic acorn <laughs> frames they're drawing this out beautifully found our queen on the first frame we pulled so she's way down there at the bottom with the white mark gorgeous she is laid in almost every one of these cells here. Just the little eggs down there. Those little grains of rice in the bottom of the cells. The black foundation makes it pretty easy to see. Feels good to see that queen already. So we'll get them transferred in here. So this frame right here is just a whole bunch of cat brood. Cat brood right here. Both sides. This side. The queen's already gone back and laid in where those little holes are. That's where the bees have hatched out of. Another nice frame of cat brood here and larva on this side. I would assume this one's going to be nectar and honey. Probably some pollen. Yeah, it's a heavier frame. All pollen on that side and nectar and pollen on that side. So like I said, we're going to give them some drawn frames to make sure they have uh, some extra space that the queen can immediately start laying. Also going to give them some undrawn frames that they can start working on here. And all the bees that are still left in that nook box will start making their way over. You don't want to do that. You don't want to just knock over the nook. I suppose that's one way of getting them out of the box. 
This one thankfully is not too glued down, not too much burr comb. You always want to make sure you check the top of the lid for the queen. I don't see her there. Nice and slow. Another freshly drawn frame. Lots of eggs in there. They're still working on this side. Um, they're storing nectar and some pollen on this side. But this side right here, the queen's already been laying on. Here's our queen on this one. She's right there with the white dot. This is a nice frame of cat brood that she's already laid out. And she's laying back in where they've already hatched, so. Real pretty queen. Heavy, heavy, heavy nectar frame, honey. Freshly drawn, freshly laid. Just a bunch of eggs at the bottom of this cell, these cells here. On the back side, they're starting to store nectar. Queen laid this whole frame up though. This is gonna be a big, big frame of bees. This is a very full frame, full nook box. Our queen is on this frame here. They'll definitely be happy to get the space here. She's laying well. It's nice, it's been 90s here for like the whole week. So it's kind of nice today. This morning it was only like 60 degrees outside. Another huge frame of brood. Yeah, these girls are gonna be looking for space here very shortly with all this brood hatching so we'll be happy to give it to them happy to see what they can do here heavy frame of nectar and then the queen has even laid on this back side so they're using every every space possible in this hive or in these frames Give them some nice drawn frames that they can start using, along with an undrawn or two. It's a very full nook, gonna have a hard time getting frame out here. And the queen is laid on this side. So this frame is just chock full of brood. Our queen is on this frame. So we'll get her safely tucked in here. So one tip I heard from Bob Binney, um, big commercial keeper down in Georgia, is if you ever have a frame where they're not drying out one of the bottom corners, most likely that corner is towards the front of the, the hive. So if you just flip that around and, and, and put it at the back of the hive, they're more apt to, to draw that out. So I had one frame there where it was a little, wasn't quite drawn out. We'll flip that around and see if that, that holds true. Alright, we're going to get this last hive transferred, and I got to go to work. <laughs>
This one they had mighty glued down. Probably gonna be a little unhappy with me. So they're drawing this one out. And the queen has started laying on here. Nice cap brood frame. And the queen's already back through laying on this side. Haven't seen her yet. All right, so we got all the nooks transferred. Um, we're gonna give them about a week before we come back and do some checks and see how they're doing for space. With the drawn comb that we've give them, given them and the amount of cat brood that they have that's gonna be hatching soon, we'll probably need to be adding uh, second boxes here fairly soon. So um, we'll come back and show you how this, these progress throughout the season. We'll show you how we prepare them for the winter. So thanks for coming out and watching the video. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and if you haven't already subscribed, it really helps the channel, helps other people see our content. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions down in the um, comments below or if you see me did something that you think I should maybe try differently next time I'd be more than happy to hear it. That's the only way I can really get better I don't have like an official mentor or anything like that. So trying to kind of figure this out as I go. So uh, Thank you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day